We're getting into the summer months now in the UK. The kids are coming home from school wanting something cool to drink or an ice cream out the freezer. And inevitably, in all the excitement, they leave both the fridge and the freezer door open in the hope that they're going to cool the whole house down. So what I've done is I'm using Home Assistant and a few door sensors to um, make this problem go away. If that's something of interest to you, stick around and watch the video. Thanks. So as I said in the intro, um, I've got a problem with kids and maybe even some of the adults in the house leaving the fridge or freezer door open when they've gone to get a cold drink, ice cream, or even you know doing, doing things in the morning, getting milk out. It's really annoying me, so I wanted to put something in place to remind people after a, a reasonable amount of time that they've left the fridge or freezer open. So in this video, I'm gonna be using Home Assistant and I'm going to be using the Acara and SmartThings um, door sensors to notify me or notify the household when um, when one of the doors have been left open and hopefully annoy them enough with those announcements to come back and want to close the door on the fridge or freezer and make sure that that's, that's shut up properly. So I'm gonna get into the details of it now. Thanks for watching. Let's take you through the automation for the fridge, um, which is exactly the same automation that I've got for the freezer, obviously just using a different sensor. Um, once I've taken you through this, then what I'll do is I'll then show you how to create this automation from scratch yourself. So I've called this kitchen fridge, fridge door open with delayed announcement. Um, my sensors are added as Zigbee devices using Zigbee to MQTT. Uh, I won't take you through that because that's not the purpose of the video today, but if you've got any questions on that, get in touch and I'll, I'll try and help. Um, so essentially the trigger here is the fridge sensor, which I've got connected to the top of the fridge door. So obviously when one, one of the fridge doors is open, then it disconnects the sensor and shows as opened. So here, when the sensor um, detects that the door's open, then what I'm doing is using a, a then do action and I basically want to repeat um, the announcement while the door is open. So while the fridge door sensor is in an open position, then what I want you to do is send a message to my Alexa that's in the kitchen and say this announcement. So what we'll get from the speaker is... Hello, this is the fridge speaking. My milk is getting warm. Please can you close the fridge door? So hopefully that will wake someone up to say that, you know, you've been in the fridge and you left the fridge door open and it's going to repeat that every one minute and 30 seconds, which I think is a reasonable amount of time because what happens sometimes is if you've been shopping, the fridge is open for quite a while while we're loading it up again. So um, obviously you can play around with those settings to, to um, meet your requirements, but it's pretty straightforward and, and that's it. And it's exactly the same process for the freezer as well. So what I'll do now is take you through how to create that automation itself. What I'll do now then is take you through how to actually create this automation. So I've split my screen into two halves. On the left is the automation that I just talked you through in the previous section. And on the right is essentially a blank template. So what we'll do is start off by looking at our trigger. So the trigger, as we said, is the kitchen fridge. So I'm gonna add a device kitchen bridge sensor uh, when that detects that it's open and it's open for a minute oops and 30 seconds but obviously you can put whatever time in there you like um, then we'll look at the then do part. 
Then what we're going to do is add a building block and this is a repeat. So repeat while and the condition is while while kitchen free fridge door sensor is open then what we want to do is an action so I'm using um, my echo dot in the kitchen so I'm going to call service notification let me see if I can scroll through and find the echo dot two which that is and have the message played so I'll copy that save a bit of time and it is text to speech so we can type TTS, text to speech. And then the final part is because we want it to keep looping until the uh, fridge door is closed again. What we can do then is add a delay. For one minute and 30 seconds to see if anybody closes the fridge in that time window. So that's it. So just going through that again quickly. So when the fridge door sensor is opened for one minute, 30 seconds, while that's in an open position, while the fridge sensor is detecting open, then I want you to play this message uh, until that loop is closed, so until um, it's no longer open. And then you'll obviously get the message from the speaker, which Hello. is sat next to me. This is the fridge speaking. My milk is getting warm. Please, can you close the fridge door? Okay, so that's, that's obviously with uh, the Amazon device, but what you could do instead of, or as well, is you could add your Google in there. So if I put my kitchen display, I could add some text to speech and we might as well use the Amazon, sorry, the home assistant notification. So the fridge is open. So if we do that and then let's see if this works. So depending on what you want to do, you can use any device that you've got plugged into Home Assistant, but obviously you need to have those things in place first. I tend to, uh, I've got the Amazon and the Google device in the kitchen. So if, the, if there's some music or the radio on playing on the Google, then I don't want that to be interrupted by the fridge notification, but you could equally do that. So I've got the fridge notification on the Amazon and my music will continue to play on the, um, the Google display without interruption. So hopefully all that makes sense. Um, if you've got any questions, then um, drop us a question in the chat. Thanks. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. It's been great fun making it and um, the automation itself has been super useful. Um, annoys the people in the house to close the fridge and freezer after uh, after they've been in there to get the refreshments um, hopefully you can make use of it uh, if you've got any comments or suggestions or feedback please leave them in the comments below um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're finding the videos useful um, i'm getting quite a lot of views now but not everybody is liking and subscribing so i'd appreciate your um your feedback on that if if you can that'd be great 
Thanks for watching the video. See you soon. Bye for now.